Good evening to those bored enough to watch. As you can once again see through the title of today's video, we're going to be talking about Trello. One day, I was scrolling through my aforementioned list of video ideas and saw this lying around. And when I saw this, I thought I'd give myself another attempt at making a video out of a completely nonchalant topic, likewise to what I did with my previous video. Now that I think about it, I've completely forgotten about why I wanted to make this video in the first place, likewise to what I usually tend to do with my videos. After all, I had placed this in my list of ideas a few weeks prior to the writing of this script, so it's natural that I'd forget why I originally wanted to make it. However, before I begin drifting away from the subject of today's video, I should leave my incoherent ramblings here and save them for another video. So, with that said, let's discuss the concept of using Trello. For those wondering, Trello is, according to this Google search, a web-based Kanban-style list-making application. I myself find it to be a very useful resource on making videos, as it helps me to keep track of my progress when I make them, among many other things which I'll get into later. I began using Trello in August of 2020, and I was in the process of making my Blue Whale video. I decided to begin using it because I had been finding it very difficult to keep track of the progress I was making during nice the production progress. of the video, such as the part I was editing during that period of time or the part I had been recording. I decided to begin using it in order to create a more consistent workflow overall, which, through using Trello, seems to have accomplished that goal. Another thing I use Trello for is, dare I say it, Gaming. gaming. I mainly use it to keep track of the games I play, since things can get messy when I start playing a new game while also playing through another one. I mainly use it to keep track of the games I've finished, the games I'm currently playing through, and the games I need to play through. However, in recent times, I haven't been playing much games, or, dare I say it again, I haven't been gaming, gaming as much as I used to, because I've been extremely busy working on other things, and for that reason, I haven't touched this Trello board for quite some time. The third and last thing I use Trello for is counting the days before school ends. One day, I felt bored, so I decided to make a Trello board that's dedicated to counting the days before I had a break from school. Even though I did this out of complete boredom, it has proven time and time again to be an extremely useful resource to have. It helps me with planning a lot of things that you will certainly see in due course, depending on whether my plans follow through accordingly or not. Ever since I began using Trello, it has proven itself time and time again to be an extremely useful resource, regardless of whether that's for casual or professional usage. It has helped me in several instances with keeping track of the progress I make when creating videos. Using it and ticking off your tasks is really satisfying and motivating to keep on working on the project until it's done. So, if you're looking for a way to maintain motivation during a project, then maybe Trello is for you. So, there's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly had a lot of fun while writing and recording it. I'm going to be uploading a brief update video so that I can have a dedicated video to talk about the things I've been working on. However, I do recommend that you do not get your hopes up. I'm not going to be revealing anything in the video. I'm just going to be talking about some things in a normal video format and nothing more. If you want to follow me, then my socials will be linked in the description as well as any afterthoughts or messages I want to add. With that, I have nothing else to say, so I'll see you all in my next video. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I wish you all a very pleasant evening.